In this video, I'm going to get you up and running with GSAP on CodePen. So here I am on the homepage of CodePen.io, which is the best place to build, test, and discover front-end code, just like the page says. To get started, we're going to click on the Start Coding button, and that's going to open up a new CodePen for us. I'm going to grab this divider here, just to give us a little bit more room, and what you'll see on the left is a preview of our page, and then we have three individual areas to type in our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm going to start out by typing in just a very basic heading one tag with the word hello. And what you'll notice is that we instantly get a preview here when I am done typing. I'll also add some very basic CSS to give our body a background color and a font color. Ah, doesn't that look nice? And now we're going to add some GSAP code in our JavaScript panel, but first we need to load it. I'm going to go over to the settings icon here, which is this little gear click and then where it says add external scripts slash pens I'm gonna type in the search field GSAP you'll see that GSAP comes up right away I'll click on it and now this field here shows us the URL of where that script is loading from I can now hit close and now my pen is GSAP enabled and I'm just gonna write in one little line of GSAP code where I'll do a GSAP to tween. The target will be the heading one, and we'll just move it along the X axis to 400 pixels. And now when I'm done typing, the animation will play. Now that was all well and good, but the problem is I only get to see the animation in the preview pane here when I'm done typing in the JavaScript panel. So I could change this 400 to a 500. That's going to trigger a refresh and a new animation. Now this auto updating is great when you're really just sort of focusing on CSS and layout, but not so good with animation. Well, what we can do is go to the settings tab of the pen and under the behavior in the auto updating preview field, what we're going to do is disable the auto updating. And then what's gonna happen is I'm going to get this run button here. So if I click the run button, I'm going to get the page to rerun or refresh and I can click that as much as I want whenever I want to see the animation play. Now that's really all there is to it, but I just want to point out a few more things. First of all, notice that the HTML section does not have a body tag. CodePen will insert that for you. Likewise, we don't need to have a script tag in the JavaScript panel. We just write the code that we want to run. And once you've created your own pens, you're going to want to name them and save them. So when I go to click on the Save button here, it's going to prompt me to log in or create a new account. CodePen accounts are totally free and will work perfectly for everything you need to do in this class. And there is an excellent pro plan if you need more advanced features. So here I am signed in. And now what I can do is take my untitled pen. I can name it First Demo. My pen gets saved. And now I can access it anytime I want when I click on my icon and go to your work. And now we see my pen with a few others I've been working on. I'll just click in the center here to go back, and there we are. If you want to make a copy of one of your pens or one of mine, you'll go down to the bottom here and click on the fork button, and that's going to bring in a new window with a new pen that you can update however you like. I'd recommend changing the name to maybe something like first demo two, but you of course can do whatever you like. And I know this all may be very new to you, but don't worry, we're gonna keep it really simple and you're gonna find CodePen to be very intuitive. Now, if you wanna work with GSAP locally and import it to your projects or do other things with it, just go to the gsap.com homepage, click on get GSAP, and you'll be taken to a wonderful video by Cassie that shows you some of the basics. And then as you scroll down, what you can do is go to the install helper. If you're using NPM, there'll be instructions there. If you want to load it from a CDN, you can specify the different tools that you want to load and you will get all the different URLs. Again, we're going to keep things really simple with CodePen in this course, but this installation page is a great place to go if you need more information. So go ahead, set up a free CodePen account, and we'll get into explaining exactly how everything in GSAP works.